Hey guys, Simon from Geoscope here. Just uh, going to show you how to open a Gaddy Fit. Gaddy Fits, they uh, hold all sorts of services on the ground, which are hard to know because they're not really labelled on top. Um, so usually when we're out on site, we've got to pop them all open, have a look, see what's in there. Uh, today I'm going to give you a rundown on how we're going to pop them open, little tricks. Have a look. Let's have a look at the tools. Screwdriver, good for cleaning out all the gunk and rubbish inside the, the little Gaddy holes there. Definitely need that on site. What we got here is a little Gaddick lifter, the small one, small D lifter, got a D handle. Uh, it's a jack system, so it's got screws. You tighten that down, and then once that's locked into the pit, you can uh, screw that jack in. And what that jack does is mechanically pop the lid open, just so you get enough advantage. When the lid's popped open, you can give it a nice lift um, with a long handle bar. I'll show you that long handle bar. That's a long handle D-lifter. Similar method. You tighten down that screw. Locks in the lifter into the actual lid itself. It's not going to go anywhere. Once it's locked in, you have that leverage of the long bar to lift up and um, do whatever you got to do with that pit open. So that's basically the gear. You need a set of um, set of barriers. You want to put that around the manhole. You don't want anyone walking down the street and falling into that hole. Um, yeah, a lot of liabilities there, so always protect everyone at our site, not only yourself, but um, anyone walking by. We've got this little big little big bar. This big bar here. Um, we actually use this to roll the roll under the lid itself. So once we've got the pit jacked open. Long, long handle in. We use the long handle lift it up, give us a bit of leverage. And I'll just give it a bit of a roll with my foot. One man lift. Um, makes the job easier, saves the old back. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I can get away with one D lifter, one small one, depending on how how loose the lid is. If it's really tight, I might have to use two lifters just to even the balance when you jack it up. Balance it up square and pops out. This lid looks like it's been opened before, so I might be able to get it open quite easy. Thankfully, it's pretty easy. So, we've done that. It's popped, I'm happy with it, but I'm not going to. You can boss your back doing that. Work smarter, not harder, eh? Let's loosen that. Okay, so we've got the lifter in. You can't really lift the, the pit like that, otherwise... Um, you're going to damage this thread and you're only going to get a couple of lifts out of it. So you really want to lock it down nice and tight. We see a lot of guys, they do this up finger tight. If you're going to do it up finger tight, don't use my tools because I hate going to the next job and the gear's been busted. The threads are easy to damage. All we want to do is lock that in nice and tight with the spanner. Lock it in. It's not going anywhere. That way it's tied against the, the lid, tied against the lifter. Got a pretty easy lift there, I can do it one man. Alright. Bit of a barrier against us and the pedestrians. Um, yeah, like I said before, you don't want anyone busting in uh, ankles, backs, face. A lot, of, a lot of personal injury happened with this. Uh, Let's keep anyone out of a penetration. Um, we've, got the, we've got the lifters in. This 
is a one man lift. Um, if you've got two people on site, it can make it easier depending on how hard the and how heavy the pit is. So this is pretty easy because of one man. So you want to roll the bar. Um, you want to have it lined up so you can have it a bit overhanging the pit entry. Um, you don't want to have it inside because you might roll the bar inside and some pits are up to three and four meters deep and you're not getting that bar out without doing any confined space raising. So um, a lot of times they're not that deep but you don't want to risk it. Um, and sometimes there's critical services inside. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Just lift it. <laughs> lift with the knees. Back straight. Back straight. Um, yeah, you don't want to be hunched over using your arms or shoulders. Just let your body do the work. So we're going to pop it open. Once it's lifted, a bit of a technique. But you want to slide the bar around by picking it. So lift the bar open. So that's under. Let's have a look. Let's go into the next stage is uh, rolling, the, rolling the roll bar back. in there is some Sydney electrical uh, assets, uh, some high voltage and low voltage running down here, uh, street lights. Alright guys, now it's time to close up, we've done what we've got to do, um, basically the reverse of the opening of the pit, so we'll lift the bar up, guide it back into the pit opening, um, once we're happy with where it is at, just drop it in, um, as gently as possible. It's easy enough this bit, so I'll just use two hands, drop it in, roll it in. Okay, we've got to get the roll bar out. Before that, you want to loosen off the jack screw. So yeah, this jack screw, if you bring the bar out, roll it out, drop the pit, the pit will still be lifting up, so you want to um, loosen that up. Otherwise, yeah, you got to fight the forces of gravity with the pit. Um, working on down on itself. So loosen that up, a lot easier to do it now than after. Just make sure it's above the bottom. Should be right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna roll the bar out now. Basically just same again. I might just tighten that up. If you don't want a loose bar, loose lift it. Give it a nip, good. Um, same again. Lift up, roll the bar out with your foot, and then just drop it down. Easy as that. Screwdriver, sometimes I use a crowbar, any any sort of lever. Um, I'll just lift the lid up one more time, slightly, um, just enough to get the screwdriver, bar, crowbar, whatever you want to lever it in. So that's in. And that, that pushes the pit right over into the top, in the, to its seat. So it pushes it right into the back corners. It's nice and home now. Um, probably should have checked if there was any dirt or any debris in the in the rails. But because was, we've only lifted it up and down, should be good to go. 